55 years ago, Hildegard Fair made a gut decision that changed her life. She was 31 years old, and she walked into her favorite German deli to pick up dinner for her and her husband. To her own surprise, she walked out with a receipt that said she owned the place. She gave me the knock question after I paid. I had a dollar sixty-seven left. I said, here, I can give you that as down payment. When I came home, my husband was not enthusiastic. said, I bought a deli. <laughs> We're in Washington, D.C., but we're not here for the politics. We're here for some old-school German-style cooking. Cafe Mozart looks like a German deli up front, but in back is a lively restaurant serving all the German classics. Pork chop, sausage, schnitzel, warm pretzels, tall steins of beer, live accordion music, and an old-school energy that's been loved by Washingtonians and tourists for decades. And yep, it all started one fateful day back in 1964, when Hilda came in here on a quest for some knockwurst. The lady at that time, she says, I can't take it anymore, I don't want it anymore, I can't take it anymore. You want the store? I said, yeah, but give me first a knockwurst for my husband. And one for me, two knockwurst. And then you can have whatever left over as down payment. For $1.67, this place was hers. Well, when I walked out, I said to myself, now why in the world, me and my big mouse, I always get in trouble. <laughs> the first trouble was, Hilda and her husband had no idea how to run a deli. I never had a store, a deli. I, I had no idea what to do in a deli. Uh, but uh, people kept on coming. She'd meet the good and the bad of Washington, D.C. We had riots, the city closed, 38 robberies. The door was replaced at least 20 times. <laughs> and then Hilda took another step she never saw coming, expanding this place into a restaurant, too. I had to mortgage my house. I had to take up credit after credit <laughs> to get the restaurant. So never say never. She didn't know how to run one of those, either. But she started by just cooking her favorite German dishes. Those were the food I knew how to cook. <laughs> very, very simple. Sausages, schnitzels, pork chops, bread dumplings and cabbage. Hilda was spending 15 hours a day in the kitchen. Her husband was the host, seating guests out front. Things started slowly, but then came their first review in the Washington Post. It was unbelievable. You know, it was too good. We couldn't handle it anymore. People standing all the way out to the thing. We only had about 60 seats. These days, Grubhub has helped take Cafe Mozart to even more people, too. I'm hungry. Yeah. Should we eat something? You know a place we can eat? I've been looking around. I've been trying to find somewhere. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. It's delicious. It is. It's it delicious. Is. Oh my god. 55 years ago, Hilda took a leap. And with five decades of hard work, has turned this place into a Washington institution. Well, I just never thought about it. I just went ahead and did it. Like everything else, I just go ahead and do it. On the end, it comes out if it's good or bad. <laughs> My luck, it went out good. 